Hey, what's up guys? Matt with Galaxy Games 843 here. We're going to do a quick bonus video. Uh, this time we're going to wash an arcade monitor. And I know a lot of you out there are probably a little skeptical of doing this, but I'm going to tell you guys it works really good and your monitor comes out looking nice and clean when you're all done. So here it is. We've got an, uh, a 19 inch Wells Gardner K7000 monitor right here. As you can see, it's got quite a bit of dust and dirt and grime on there. Uh, so what we're going to do first is we're going to spray it down with a, a good cleaner. And I know you're gonna say this is crazy, but we're gonna use this dollar store. It's LA, it's totally awesome. As you can see, my bottle's kind of worn out, but I get this at the Dollar Tree. And you know, it's it's pretty harsh, it smells pretty bad, but we're just gonna spray it on there, just like this. All over, all over the all over the ch chassis, the electronics, all that good stuff. We're gonna spray it on there and then we're gonna let it sit. Just want to let it sit in there and cook and clean all that grime and crud out of there that's been on there for you know 30 40 years see how, how all that dirt is just melting away again people out there probably think i'm crazy for doing this but i'm going to tell you guys when it's all done this thing is going to look awesome it's going to look almost like new i get in there in the neck real good the yoke all those controls, I want all those things to just kind of sit there and get all that cleaner on them real good. So we're just gonna let that sit there and kind of work its way. Kind of just like I said, clean everything real good. We're just gonna let it work and sit and uh, we'll be back in just a few minutes after we let that sit for probably, probably about five minutes or so. And we'll uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll spray it down with the hose. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but guys, trust me, it's gonna work really good. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we let it sit for about five minutes and that's the one thing about working here in the South Carolina sun when it's out, it dries things up pretty quick. So you really don't wanna let things dry. So what we're gonna do now is I'm going to put my my thing on shower here. I'm just gonna kind of give it a nice shower. So look how clean all that just, just comes off there. All that dirt and grime just melts away. You wanna get it good and rinsed. You don't want to be real aggressive with the water because um, because of this stuff right here. So this is called AquaDog, and that actually holds part of the charge when the monitor is working. So you want to make sure that you're not real aggressive because that can flake off and wash off. And you need that in order for your monitor to work properly. So all I'm doing now is just rinsing and making sure that all the soap degreaser is off of there. Look how much cleaner that is, guys. It looks like it's brand new. It looks great. I'm going to spend some time on the circuit board. Because if you look down, you can still see all the soap bubbles in there. So we need to make sure that's all clear. We need to make sure all that soap is gone. See how the soap bubbles are still running off? We want all that cleared away. And then what I'm going to do after I'm done, I'm just going to leave it sit out here in the sun and it's going to dry it right up. Of course, I'm not going to plug it in today. I'm going to let it sit at least overnight before I plug the, the monitor in. Because uh, you want to make sure things are good and dry, obviously. But this will not hurt it at all. Just make sure all your soap is off. That's the key, is making sure all the soap is off. See, I still got soap bubbles in there.
All right, let's take a quick look at this now. Now there's still there's still a little bit of soap I gotta rinse off better, but look how clean that is, guys. It's beautiful clean. It's like it's brand new. This tube, remember, it had that that thick dust on there. It's amazingly clean now. So this is typically what I do with all the monitors when I'm restoring a cabinet. I'll pull them out. Of course, we'll rebuild the chassis down here, but we'll clean them just like this. We'll clean them real good. Um, sometimes too, when I have the actual chassis out of the frame, I'll um, I'll put it in like a, a wash tub or something like that, spray it down, let it soak, and I'll get like a real soft bristle toothbrush and you know kind of go in there and make sure all of it is real clean. But again, the key, the most important thing is making sure all the soap is rinsed off. And then when it's all said and done, that it is 100% dry before you plug it back in and hook electricity back up to it. That is like the other key. You want to make sure that the electricity uh, is, everything's dry before you put electric back to it. But that's it guys, I hope. All right guys, we are back. It's a few days later and the monitor is completely dried out. Now I've got a temporary test bench, I guess you could say set up here. Uh, basically, what I have is I have an isolation transformer um, that is going to run AC through the isolation transformer directly to the monitor to power it. I've got a JAMA harness with a switching power supply also running on AC power with just a cheapo um, JAMA board to test with. Now, I haven't powered this thing on or anything like that ever since I picked it up. But as you can see, it is the same monitor, nice and clean. You know, like I said, we hosed it off, we scrubbed, you know, we scrubbed it, we let it dry. It's ready to go. So we're gonna power it up. We're gonna see how the picture looks. Don't know if it's gonna be rebuilt or if it's even gonna work, honestly. But here's 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 what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna set the camera over here, so you can kind of see the screen. And well, it's, it's really no good way to do this. All right, all I'm gonna do is apply power to the JAMA board first. So I'm gonna plug in the switching power supply. Once that's uh, up and running, I'm, then I'm gonna plug in the isolation transformer, which is gonna power the monitor. And I am going to put a glove on because I just had to rig this all up. I had to like pull pins out and kind of rig it up. So let me, uh, let me just come over here so you can see me do this. What I mean by, when I say I had to pull pins out. So right here, I had to de-pin my power connector from this in order to plug it in because it didn't fit directly to this monitor. So I de-pinned it and I'm just, I just have it temporarily plugged directly in. But as you can see, power coming into the isola isolation transformer, power coming out to the monitor. So let's go ahead and let's do this. Let's plug in the switching power supply first. And my plug fell. Let me grab my plug. Here we go, here's my plug. So what first thing I'm gonna do is plug in the switching power supply. All right, there we go. Switching power supply is plugged in. We've got green lights here on the switching power supply. So we're getting power to the JAMA board, but there's still no power to the monitor. So let's go ahead and plug that in. And here's why I'm wearing the glove. Look at that, I just have it kind of temporarily wired up to this little plug here. I don't wanna shock myself. So I've got a glove on. And all, like I said, all we're gonna do is just plug it in. And what we're listening for is that high voltage startup sound on the monitor. So let's plug it in, let's hear. All right, I hear it. That's good, that's a good sign. Let's come around here. See what's happening on the screen. All right, we got a picture. Looks like it needs some adjustment, maybe caps, who knows. Um, otherwise it's not too bad. Looks like the blue is turned up a little bit right now. Um, we're not gonna go through and do a bunch of adjustments um, in this video. Let me do this, let me, let me slide this around so you can see it better. Get a little better shot of it. Said it does look kind of blue on camera here, but it's really not that blue in person. Like I said, I'm not going to mess around with the adjustments here in the video. I just wanted to do a final scene here of this video to show you that you can wash a monitor and it will work afterwards. You're just going to let, make sure you let it dry. But uh, that's going to be about it for this video, guys. So quick reminder, if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to Galaxy Games 843 here on YouTube. We are growing and we need your help to get ourselves to that next milestone. So give us a subscribe if you haven't done so yet. While you're down there, make sure you like the video. Share your video, share the video with, the friend, with your friends. And uh, that's gonna be it, guys. So again, this is how you wash an arcade monitor and, and you can see it works just fine afterwards. So I just wanted to kind of wrap it up. So thanks guys for watching all the way to the end of the video. I hope you learned something today. 
Again, subscribe to Galaxy Games 843. We're going to go ahead and wrap this video up, guys. This is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We'll see you next time.